how many of you know that this course is, this is intended for you? So it's intended actually for you in a different context. The context is different, right? Usually, one of the things we've had to deal with is we're not really here to teach you. You're already teaching, right? You don't need to be trained to teach. Yes? Okay. Uh, however, how many of you know that to be more masterful in your teaching, uh, it requires practice? So in some sense, what we're going to be doing is uh, sharing the, some of the experiments we've been doing. Okay? Get a chance to hear from you what is it that you've been doing. And in the process, this entire domain of environmental science and engineering, environmental studies, we will actually be able to get, take it to the next level. Okay, this is the first time the, uh, that we're attempting it at this scale. We've been conducting this course as an undergraduate course for almost now 10 years, a little over 10 years. Okay? Typically, the class size is uh, anywhere from 250 to 300 students. Um, and um, we usually don't have an issue of attendance. Okay, and uh, so I, I heard from a lot of uh, some feedback that we got that a lot of times the issue is that of uh, attendance. So I'm going to request for some feedback from you so that we can actually intervene in some of those human issues. Everybody understand human issues? Human behavior issues? Human beings, please raise your hand. <laughs> some of them are, see, notice, okay? Just notice. <laughs> that you know you actually look around to see uh, uh, yeah yeah i mean if not then you know watch out somebody is not from this planet here <laughs> all right so you you know i mean how many of you were students once oh you are masterful at being students you know i mean the the things that students are doing now got invented by us right yeah so to be able to actually deal with yourself would be a good idea as we're going through this course fair enough human beings Okay, just keep checking. I'll keep asking this question time and again, and you just have to look to see. You are okay about you, but just look to see who's around you. <laughs> All right. Somebody, you know, is Professor Fatak said that eight people are offering this. This is the first time that actually, we've been offering it like this. That's the only way we know how to offer it. Okay. Uh, it used to be called an ES403 course, which was commonly taught between humanities and social sciences and our Center for Environmental Science and Engineering. All right, so eight of us have been, you know, so the numbers vary, you know, six to eight is the number. Um, when this was first offered, we didn't even have an outline. So we said, okay, this is intended to be in service of leadership of tomorrow. So who's sitting in my BTEC class are leaders of tomorrow. Okay? And that, for me, has been always the spirit of this course. That in seven hours of a module which I teach on air pollution, I'm very clear, and I say this pretty upfront to them. I'm not going to turn you into experts on air quality, OK? Air pollution, seven hours, you know, if I can barely give you the vocabulary with which you can appreciate and understand. And it's definitely going beyond being a good citizen. So I'm really not going to be driving this course, and you know, the, the, all of us here, we're clear that we're not going to be driving this course. Who's going to be driving this course is you. All we're here to do is to, in some way, you know, be able to share what we've been doing and how we, as a group, might be able to now deal with it at a national level. Okay? If you haven't yet done it, you just want to look around that if there is someone who will deliver on this course at a national level, it is you and the people in this room. That's number one. So eight teachers, I, I kind of digress, but that's okay. Eight teachers. The reason why we have eight is because each one of us are very passionate about what we do. Okay? And so we don't have, you know, there's enough, you know, material already available out there, information already available out there. Um, I, you don't need that. That's already available. So, you know, the only thing we're going to share is our excitement and... Uh, invite you to join the game. OK? That's why eight. Otherwise, we could actually have one person teach the whole thing. OK? Now, notice that you know, some of you are saying, these eight now have to be, as Professor Fartek said, you'll have to be all eight of us. Or parts of thereof. <laughs> okay. All right. So no gyan, no information, 
this partnership. And what we'll be doing is, if, if I were to give the title to this particular workshop, I'd call it Our Experiments with Teaching Environmental Studies. That's what I would call it, okay? All right. What would be the motivation for teaching or attending a workshop like this, etc.? Why would teachers want to come and sit in for a 10-day program to do this? What could be the reasons for it? You think they're not already equipped to deal with it? That's a question I'll leave you with. But here's my promise. The promise is that every hour, and I'm making this promise on behalf of all of you, okay? that every hour that they spend in the workshop will save them 20 hours. That would be worthwhile then, right? It would be worthwhile. It would be actually saying, OK, if I attend this lecture, if, you know, one hour of this lecture, it actually saves me 20 hours of work, which is a lot of value then. Yes? Fair enough? OK, good. So that's a promise. And I'm making that promise on behalf of all of you. You didn't know this, but I made that promise on behalf of all of you. We get it. This risky business here, okay? This, okay. <laughs> All right. What else? Um, one thought has been, and we're still experimenting. We're looking to see if it is possible to do this. We're trying to see if we can interface this course with some of the activities in each state through the state pollution control boards. Okay, how many of you at some point in time have interacted with state pollution control boards or had some activities around? Yeah, okay, good. So we want to expand that network. Recently, uh, Maharashtra Pollution Control Board has set up an academic consortium. So VJ, uh, VJIT, VNIT Nagpur, IIT Bombay, and Walchand College of Engineering, Sangli. There is an academic consortium that's been set up in which uh, what MPCB is doing is looking at what are the research issues that they're dealing with and looking to see if those can be offered through MTech or PhD in the academic institutes. And the intention is to go from 4 to 16 in this year. And I think I list, looked at 161 uh, centers that are here, of which 31 are from Maharashtra. So I'm not, you know, Maharashtra is the place where we've started, but I'd really like to have some occasion with you during the next five days to be able to look, the, look at the possibility of who'd like to take on the lead in your particular state, and then we will connect you up with the right people. Would that be of interest? Yes, how many think it might be of interest? It might be. All right, very good. Thank you. One of the first things that Professor Fatak had said to us as a team is this. And I just want to honor that because uh, while we are doing our experiments with teaching and other things, uh, there is a certain commitment that we have with regard to students having to write exams. Is that what typically happens? So tell me how is, is you is EVS is offered in the first year? How many people? First year of their program, mostly? Second year? Yeah, third year? Fourth year? OK. And where does the exam paper come from? It comes from the board? From the university? So I have an important question, therefore, to ask. When I look at the UGC syllabus, and it says air pollution, it just has two words over there, air pollution. So what do you teach is a question I have, right? And what are the kind of questions that are asked? And if at the end of this module, if there are things that are remaining unanswered for you, then I'll want you to communicate that. So that by the time we get to June, to the actual uh, delivery of this course through the remote centers, that we actually are equipped. So in some sense, this is um, not really, you understand, right? This is really not, we call, I don't know, what do we call it, uh, Mukta? What do we call this? Is it called a training? Is it called an orientation? What is it called? Training? OK. So uh, you definitely getting trained to be a coordinator. However, coordinator for what? Coordinator for that which needs to get delivered in June. OK? And you and I would have to be on the same page about a lot of things that actually have to be delivered there in real time. So give me give you an example. If I were to give a quiz at the end of, you know, say, 15 minutes, then you need to know that the, a quiz is coming. And you need to know exactly which quiz is coming. And we'll give 10 minutes for that quiz. You need to know exactly how to deal with it. So we would have gone through that back and forth a couple of times. You know, if you have any questions, if we, I have any questions, we back, go back and forth, get it sorted out, so that 
no questions asked, you become the person over there to be able to answer any doubts that those people might have. Right? So that part, that relationship is what we're here to set up. Fair enough? Okay, good. Everybody ready? Okay, so um, welcome. It's important, right? I mean, one time I asked people in a class to uh, dress up uh, for uh, a presentation. It's a part of the communication skills course we do. And they came dressed up as though they were going for a wedding or something. Yeah. <laughs> totally inappropriate, right? So I really need to be clear as to what I'm welcoming you to. I've said some of these things. Professor Fatak has said some of, these, some, some of these things too. So there may be a little bit of repetition, but at the same time, I just want to reinforce some of the things. So welcome to a place of honor, okay? A place of honor where you and I are partners in the fulfillment of something. A place of appreciation. I'm going to use time and again opportunities to ask you what are the accomplishments that you have had? What are the things that you are proud of? A place of partnership? A place of service? A prayer for Mother Earth and life? How about that? I mean, I actually am committing ourselves to that prayer, which is, starts here, goes on till June, and then we're also looking to see what structures we need to put in place such that it doesn't end with the work that happens in June, that we actually have a long-term relationship that continues to grow. Welcome to that. Uh, so while the millions may never know that the work you put in, while the millions may never know the work you put in, you should know that that which you provide serves all of humanity. Okay? Let's be black and white about this. I don't want any iffiness around this. This is the ground we stand on. And you should also know that millions of people will never know it was you who actually provided something. And very specially, on behalf of the people of India, thank you. Anything less, you shouldn't be here. Fair enough? Yes? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So thank you for who you are and for the commitment that you have taken up. And here comes an opportunity which actually has you take on the entire country. And that's what I'm welcoming you to. Okay? Right. Fabulous. So your presence fills us with pride for what is about to. So for, on behalf of the entire organizing team, I want to express this sentiment that you fill us with pride. And I thank you for that. Okay? Okay, so now, we've done this before. Turn to your partner, right? Introduce yourself to each other. I think this part is done. But I think this partner, share at least two things about yourself that you're proud of. I, I, you I haven't done that yet. I, I knew you wouldn't have done that. You would have said, ha ha, man, I teach there, ha ha. How many years? Ha <laughs> ha, like that, right? Okay, I don't think you've actually shared what are the things that you yourself are very proud of. So, um, please share at least with two other things about yourself that you're proud of. And so you take one minute each, and person with, not logger hair, huh? longer hair. <laughs> longer hair. Huh? Longer hair. So now, if two of you are sitting over there, don't start measuring kiska baal jada lamba hai. <laughs> All right, so I'll give you a minute each. Please turn to the person next to you and share. You've already done this part. What I'd like for you to do is share at least two things about yourself that you're proud of, starting now. Go. All right. So please say thank you to your partners. So we will begin, when you come back after tea, we will begin with some pre-course feedback. So I'll give you a sheet of paper, which you'll spend about 10 minutes giving. So please be here at 11.30 sharp. Okay? Thank you very much.